Hi guys, welcome to another week of story time. This week our theme is if you give a mouse a cookie series. So stay tuned, we'll be reading some of the books based off of that popular book. Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be reading If You Give a Mouse a Brownie, so I hope you guys enjoy it. If you give a mouse a brownie. If you give a mouse a brownie, he's going to ask for some ice cream to go with it. When you give him the ice cream, he'll ask you for a spoon. He'll start drumming on the table. Drumming will get him so excited he'll want to start a band. You'll have to play guitar. He'll want to put on a show. Then you'll need some spotlights and a microphone, so you'll have to build a stage. When the stage is finished, he'll want to make lots of tickets. You'll have to find paper and markers. When the tickets are done, he'll decide to make posters as well. He'll hang them all over the neighborhood. When he's, hanging, when he's out hanging them, it might start to rain. He'll fold some posters and make a little boat. Then he'll sail it in a puddle. He'll get so wet he'll start to sneeze. You'll have to put him in your pocket to stay nice and warm. When he peeks out of your pocket, he'll smell something delicious. The smell will remind him that he's hungry. You'll have to take him to the store and get a few things to nibble on. Of course, he'll want to have a picnic. When the sun comes out, you'll have to take him to the park. While you're setting up the picnic, he'll see a playground. He'll jump on the swings. He'll go as high as he can. When he looks up at the sky, he might notice a big white cloud. The cloud will remind him of ice cream. He'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if you give him some ice cream, he'll want a brownie to go with it. The end. So I hope you guys like that book, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. If you give a dog a donut. If you give a dog a donut, he'll ask for some apple juice to go with it. When you give him the juice, he'll drink it all up. Then he'll ask for more. There won't be any left. So he'll want to make his own. He'll go outside to pick apples. When he's up in the tree, he'll toss you one. Throwing the apple will make him think of baseball. He'll want to play. You'll have to get a ball and a glove. Of course, he'll also need a bat. He'll ask you to pitch. He'll hit a home run. Then he'll do a happy dance to celebrate. Dancing will make him hot and dusty, so he'll need some water. He'll probably start a water fight. You'll have to dry him off with your bandana. He'll wrap it around his head and pretend that he's a pirate. Then he'll want to go on a treasure hunt. He'll find an old kite and want to make one himself. You'll have to find him some sticks, paper, and string. When the kite is finished, he'll want to fly it. It will go higher and higher until it gets tangled in the apple tree. The tree will remind him of apple juice, so he'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if he asks for some apple juice, he'll want a donut to go with it. The end. And today we'll be reading If You Give a Moose a Muffin. So let me see if I can present it. There we go. And then we'll start reading. Okay. If you give a moose a muffin, he will want some jam to go with it. So you'll bring out some of your mother's homemade blackberry jam. When he finishes eating the muffin, he'll want another, and another, and another. When they're all gone, he'll ask you to make more. You'll have to go to the store to get him some muffin mix, and he'll want to go with you. 
When he opens the door and feels how chilly it is, he'll ask to borrow a sweater. When he puts the sweater on, he'll notice that one of its buttons is loose. He'll ask for a needle and thread. The button will remind him of the puppets his grandmother used to make. So he'll ask you for some old socks. He'll make sock puppets. When they're done, he'll want to put on a puppet show. He'll need some cardboard and paint. He'll then ask you to help with making the scenery. When the scenery is finished, he'll go behind the couch, but his antlers will stick out. So he'll ask for something to cover them up. You'll bring him a sheet from your bed. When he sees the sheet, he'll remember he wants to be a ghost for Halloween. He'll try it on and shout, boo. It'll scare him so much, he'll knock over the paints. So he'll use the sheets to clean up the mess. Then he'll ask for some soap to wash it out. He'll probably want to hang the sheet up to dry. He'll go outside to put the sheet on the clothesline. When he's out in the yard, he'll see your mother's blackberry bushes. Seeing the blackberries will remind him of her jam. He'll probably ask you for some. And chances are, if you give him the jam, he'll want a muffin, muffin to go with it. And that is the end of my story. So until next time. I hope you guys enjoyed those books. See you next week. Bye. Bye.